What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Out of the Basement. Today, we are doing our July, <laughs> hey, our July Blu-ray update. And it's just me and Buck today. There's not a, not a whole lot. July was a very slow month for me and Justin. Justin's not even here right now because he had so few Blu-rays. And I only picked up a couple things. Steve, you got a lot of stuff. I, I did get quite a few things. So probably our shortest Blu-ray update ever, Steve. Why don't you, we just jump into it and you show off your first picks of the month. Let's do it. So the first two picks are uh, two Danny Boyle films that I actually have not seen. I'm going down his catalog. Uh, Sunshine and Trance. If I had to say which one I was more excited to watch, probably Trance. Hmm. Uh, but definitely still excited to watch Sunshine. Who, and, uh, isn't it Ryan Reynolds in Sunshine? Uh, no, Chris, Chris. Chris Evans. Yeah, right. all star cast. Yeah. In Sunshine. Um, oh, Killian Murphy. Yeah. Cool. Um, so Danny Boy has yet to uh, let me down yet. All of them that I've seen, uh, not only have I liked them, but I pretty much loved them. Nice. So uh, happy to add two more to the collection. Very nice. Uh, first up for me is a 4k trilogy something i forgot about until it uh right. until i saw the email and that is the predator three movie collection this is the 4k blu-ray digital copy version uh comes with predator predator 2 and predators there you go pretty nice set i popped in predator 2 for a few minutes to uh peep the transfer i think it looks pretty good of course, it looks like a movie from the 90s in 4K, so sure. you got that inevitable film grain, but overall. That's why our nice new technology on our TVs can help filter out that grain. Yes, make it look nice less, and smooth. So yeah, I think uh, I haven't looked at Predator or Predators, but the transfer on that, the 4K, is pretty awesome. And I didn't have Predator 2 on Blu-ray at all, mm. so... Happy to finally have all three of those movies. I kind of wish this set would have also included Alien vs. Predator 1 and 2, but... Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe that's in the works. Yeah. Like, as its own thing. Two-pack. Yeah. Which, again, I would, I would probably dip into that. Just Those movies are bad, but they're good. So, what are your next picks? Uh, the but next two, two are uh, two big collections. Yes. Uh, that would be South Park Seasons 1 through 5 and 6 through 10. Nice. Uh, so happy to have these. Hope they keep them coming. Yeah. Um, and uh, also I hope uh, Comedy Central decides to start putting their TV shows on Blu-rays. Curl Show? Uh, yeah. It's uh, criminal. I can understand why they don't. It's a risk some of the times. Like obviously South Park is going to sell. Right. But come on. You gotta throw us a bone. I know. You gotta show some love for your other shows. Or at least make it easy to watch your stuff in HD. That, or that. <laughs> or, or that's, come on. That should <laughs> right. be a given. Right. I shouldn't have to struggle to watch full episodes of The Kroll Show in HD somewhere. And there's just some Comedy Central shows that you can't watch, period. Because wow. they don't have a DVD release and they're not available to stream anywhere. American Body Shop is one of those that I would love to revisit, but have no way of doing so. There you go. There's our continuing saga of complaining about Comedy yeah. Central. <gasps> it's like every episode we're just like, come on, Comedy Central. <laughs> uh, click that like button if you want Comedy Central to start putting uh, more stuff on Blu-ray, the Chappelle show. Oh, dude. Uh, At least the Chappelle show has a nice, like, complete series yeah. box set, but yeah. Reno 911. Honestly. There's just, I mean, there's countless. So show them who's boss and leave a like. And, and leave a like, because uh, Matt and Trey do watch our videos, so. And they, they They'll own work. Comedy Central. Yeah, that is true. Uh, next up for me is something a little weird for me, a little out of my wheelhouse. I think most people would find this pretty weird that I would pick it up, but that is The Incredibles 1. On, what a weirdo! On Blu-ray, I know, right? But yeah. I, this is the only Disney Pixar movie I own. Uh, I recently revisited this, and it was so good upon my rewatch that I just had to go out and get my own copy. Found this at Disc Replay. It was only twelve bucks, and this is the original print Blu-ray with the with the old slip. This nice. isn't the one that has uh, where it's just Mr. Incredible's face. So that's a that's a pretty common price point for DR for those types of films. Yeah, but it's just nice because you know Disney likes to artificially inflate oh, yeah. the prices of their movies. Oh yeah. So, it's always good to get something on a little bit of a discount. But yeah, Incredibles 1 is a great movie. Uh, 
actually has murder and gun mm-hmm. violence and like right off the bat and like, suicide in it yeah. and and you're just kind of like what <laughs> but i like kids movies like this that don't necessarily treat the kids like they're idiots mask of the phantasm exactly so this is a great movie great family movie happy mm-hmm. to have it uh next up yeah you, next three here, here we go uh, i started my descent into dragon ball super so i got part one two and four nice just gotta get three now how many parts are there total uh, right now released there is uh five no four okay. five is on its way soon i think okay uh, so i just got the three can't wait to start diving into this i've already seen a little bit of season one uh, and i really liked what i saw i know that there's a different uh, they got a different like animation style that i'm gonna have to get used to but uh nonetheless very excited to start watching yeah. this it's just weird to because i think what it is is probably dragon ball super was animated on a computer it's probably not hand animation probably so it looks a little different yeah it's like uh whatever that recent dbz movie we watched was resurrection of f yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and it looked kind of weird yep super <laughs> super Sleeper. Next up for me is an Arrow video release I haven't got a chance to watch yet. I've been saving it for a, for a me, you, and Mike night. Mm-hmm. And this is a Larry Cohen film, and that is The Stuff. Don't really know a whole lot about this, but we recently took a trip out to Ohio to uh, go to a theme park, and we stopped at a big disc replay on the way, and they had this there. This was, this was 12 bucks. So I was like, 12 bucks for an Arrow video release, and it's a Larry Cohen movie. So I'll take it. You're you're in pretty good hands. I'll take it. Um, yeah, really, honestly don't know anything about this. It looks like it's about something where some people eat some weird goop stuff. It kind of seems like maybe the Power Rangers movie kind of ripped off the premise of this just a little bit. Where like either they turn into zombies or something horrible happens to them when they eat the stuff. If you're about so, to slander Ivan Ooze. I'm not. I love my boy Ivan. <laughs> Shout Factory, release that fucking movie on a single Blu-ray. Yeah, thank you in Please. advance. So, uh, what's your next pick uh, here? Next one. Took you long enough. Yeah, it took me long enough. Uh, Twin Peaks, the limited event series. I finally pulled the trigger on this because I knew the longer I waited, uh, eventually uh, this is going to go out of print yeah. and it's going to skyrocket. Uh, just like the region... A, Region 1, whatever version of uh, the old complete series. So, uh, yeah. You picked finally, that up on uh, Prime Day, right? Yeah, on Prime Day. Got it for, uh, I can't remember exactly what I got it for, but it was a significant discount. Yeah, because I remember I texted you because I was like, how the hell did you get Twin Peaks for that cheap? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, couldn't pass it up, especially for that price. I was prepared to pay full price for it anyways, but yeah. discounted is always better. Right. Uh, so, can't wait to revisit this again. I need to finish watching future. it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's we'll, we'll do that soon. But Twin Peaks. If you're sleeping on this series, by the way, if you're hesitant, don't sleep on it. It's really good. It's wake different, up, but great. Next up for me is my very first Vestron video release, and that is Beyond Reanimator. Finally, have all of the Reanimator movies on Blu-ray. For the sake of the collection, I wish Arrow Video would have put out Beyond Reanimator, but I will take the Vestron release Uh, anyways. Haven't got a chance to revisit this, because again, I'm sort of waiting for a night where me, you, and Mike are hanging out, and we can watch Bride, Mm -hmm. see how we feel, and then we'll move on to the weird weird entry, as as if the other Reanimator movies aren't weird, but... um, I believe this was a Sci-Fi Channel original movie. Really? But it's like an early 2000s one where they still really gave a shit, so it's actually pretty good quality. Cool. I've watched this a really long time ago, but I barely remember anything about it. I think, yeah, uh, Dr. West is in prison, and he's performing experiments on other inmates. Nice. So, Beyond Reanimator from Vestron Video. Next up from you, Buntu. Yeah, the next one is a 4K entry of uh, Saving Private Ryan. Nice. I have not seen this, and I don't even think I've seen it in full since I was a child. Because you you've never realized that it's actually three hours yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm sure I didn't have the attention span then. Probably don't have a much longer one now. <laughs> uh, but I, 
I have vivid memories of uh, when this first came out to VHS. Mm -hmm. uh, the two the two tapes. Yeah, uh, my grandparents bought it like brand new, and we always had the two tapes at my grandparents' house, and everybody would watch it as soon as it was there because it was right new out and everything. So good nostalgic memories with this movie, even though I don't remember anything about it. And I'll I'll just say that it's a fantastic movie. Yeah, uh, it's uh, I really enjoy it. I think that the pacing is really good. So even though it's three hours long, you f you definitely feel like, you know, when you're at the end of the movie, you're like, wow, that was it. Anyways, Saving Private Ryan, great movie. Mm -hmm. uh, my last pick this time is Oats Studio Volume 1, which this is Neil Blomkamp's uh, short, well, they don't only make short films, but so far they've only made short films. Uh, this is the compilation disc that has uh, Raka, Firebase, Zygote, uh, tons of awesome shorts that are on YouTube for free, but I really liked uh, Zygote and Firebase a lot, so I picked this up just because I wanted to show my support for, for my boy Neil Blomkamp. Mm -hmm. Love all of his movies, and uh, yeah, it's just a nice set. It's got all the short films on it. It's got even more short films on it than... Uh, than what I mentioned, so it's and it was only twenty bucks, so it's pretty good value, and uh, yeah, you're supporting independent filmmaking, which is something we're pretty big fans of here at Out of the Basement. So yeah, uh, nice to own these in crisp, clean 1080p quality. Don't have to worry about that streaming buffering nonsense. One of these, I think it's Firebase. It's either Firebase or Zygote. It actually has Sigourney Weaver in it. Wow. So. Sigourney herself. Sigourney herself shows up, makes an appearance. So, Steve, what are your last picks for the month? Uh, the next one is going to be In the Mouth of Madness, the nice. Screen Factory collection. Great movie. Uh, I, I still got this two weeks early, despite the fact <laughs> I didn't pre-order it, because someone sold it to Disc Replay. Well, I don't understand why you would go through all the trouble to pre-order it, spend all that money to get it two weeks early, probably got the poster, yeah, and then you're just like... <laughs> uh, no idea. Uh, I actually haven't seen this movie, um, but I mean, it's a John Carpenter film, so good or bad, I'm gonna try to buy it anyways. Yeah. Um, so there's the reverse and the new. In the Mouth of Madness is a weird. It's a weird movie for John Carpenter for sure. Yeah. It's kind of like uh, it's not based on anything Lovecraft, but it is definitely inspired by Lovecraft and Lovecraftian horror. Okay. So. Definitely has that like weirder element to it. I really like that movie, and Sam Neill's in it. He's awesome, of course. Dr. Yeah. Alan Grant. Alan. He's got a 4K scan of the original, uh, new uh, look at the film's locations in present time. That's cool. So, of course, you know, Scream Factory, they uh, always load you with the good stuff, and that's why we love them. They deliver. And support them. They deliver. Um, so, In the Mouth of Madness. And then... The final two are both Arrow video releases. One has been a long time coming, and is uh, if you've been with us from the beginning of Out of the Basement, maybe a few <laughs> of you have stuck around, then you certainly recognize uh, the Giver. Yes. When do we not talk about the Giver on this <laughs> channel? <laughs> uh, but this is uh, the Arrow release. Uh, it's technically region B, but secretly region free. Yeah. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's listed on the website as Region B, uh, but once you get it, it's a region free release. I think does it have the? I don't know. It might on the yeah. disc itself. Well, it has the ABC on the back. Okay. And it well, says there you go. Yeah, it says Region Zero, but for whatever reason, this is listed on Arrow's website as being a Region B release. It's not. It's region free, mm -hmm. and the the transfer we watched it. Yeah. The transfer is amazing. It's yeah. stupid good for it's, a movie like Guyver. Yeah. <laughs> um, so real quick, there's the reverse art. Whoa, Ooh. saved it. Hold on. Hold good, the phone. Good catch here. Reversible <laughs> art here, which is super badass. Yeah. I would love to, I would fucking love to have a poster of this. That's, if I'm not mistaken, that's the European right. version that, that says Mutronics. Yeah, because the movie was called Mutronics in Europe. The Giver here. Yeah. But yeah, dude, I love this set. I wish... 
Uh, you know, like we always say, where the fuck is Guyver Dark Hero? Where's the Blu-ray of that? Because not only is it a better movie, <laughs> but, you know, it only has the DVD release. And no Blu-rays, no bare bones, like Region B or yeah. weird ones. Like, it's just... It's trapped. Yeah. It's not, yeah, like the Guyver, because there's that German Blu-ray before this one came out. Mm -hmm. But this is definitely the definitive version. Of course. But, yeah, it's so weird. It's so weird that Dark Hero still, to this day, does not have a Blu-ray. And it's kind of got that 3D effect around it, too. Yeah. With the, the lightning coming out of them. Uh, so, of course, floored to own that. Love the Guyver. Uh, and then the next one is the new FYE exclusive Reanimator. So um, awesome. Yeah. I, uh, for whatever reason, I was kidding myself for the longest time about the, the value <laughs> of the collector's edition that Arrow put out of Reanimator and Bride, and uh, I didn't realize that it was actually pretty valuable. So I went ahead and just bit the bullet oh, and nice. decided to uh, get the steel book. So that's the back. I'll open it up. Uh, always keep that receipt. <laughs> you know Bucky's always got that receipt. Um, so on the inside, the disc is actually in my Xbox because I was watching it, but that's the inside. Comes with your standard uh, booklet here, if I can get it out. <laughs> Um, so, you know, your, your standard Arrow video booklet got some write-ups and uh, production pictures and whatnot. And then it's got a little insert for uh, upcoming Arrows. So, uh, love this movie. Yeah. It was really good. I really enjoyed uh, Reanimator. Very funny. So, those were all the Blu-rays we picked up in July. Didn't get a single Criterion mm -hmm. for the whole month of the Criterion sale. But uh, there wasn't really any that I was looking for, like, dying to get. You know, I don't know about you, but... Yeah, I got the Guillermo del Toro trilogy. Oh, I think right. that was in the last update. Right, right, yeah. So, those were our pickups. Let us know what you picked up during the month of July. Let us know what you think of our pickups. We'd love to talk to you in the comments down below about Blu-rays and all sorts of goodies. Uh, of course, if you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're always talking about action figures blu-rays movies and ring that bell so you get those notifications hit it hit the hit the bell so that you get them all the time not just the occasional you want them all the time so you know when we're uploading of course thank you so much for watching i'm nate i've been joined with steven and we will see you next time on out of the basement